There are a number of applications in which the most natural form of the equation has both variables on the same side. And the most common of these applications is the general category of mixtures. Now the idea of a mixture is pretty simple. In a mixture, we're combining two quantities, one of which is based on each variable. So here's an example. Suppose that Tom works two jobs. One is a cook and the other is a tutor. As a cook, he makes $9.25 per hour, and as a tutor, he makes $15 per hour. He wants to make $120 per week. Our variables are T, number of hours as a tutor, and C, the number of hours as a cook. And it's not clear which of these ought to be independent or dependent. So we'll make that choice if we need it for something. But we don't need it to write down the equation because we're going to write an equation that has both variables on the same side. The amount that he makes each week is going to be the amount he makes as a tutor plus the amount he makes as a cook. And we want that to total 120. How much does he make as a tutor? $15 per hour times t hours is 15t. How much does he make as a cook? $9.25 per hour times c hours is 9.25c. Let's see another example. Suppose a truck is being loaded with a mixture of large and small containers. A large container weighs 150 pounds, and a small container weighs 80 pounds. The truck can carry a total of 1,000 pounds of cargo. Our variables, then, are L, the number of large containers, S, the number of small containers, and again, it's not obvious which is independent. But we want the total weight of the large containers plus the total weight of the small containers. We want that to add up to 1,000 pounds. The large containers, they're 150 pounds each. So the weight of the large containers is 150 L. The small containers are 80 pounds each, so the weight of the small containers is 80 S. One more example. Sometimes we encounter mixtures that involve percents. Suppose an investor wants to invest in two funds, one a high yield investment, the other a safer investment. The high yield fund pays 7% interest, and the safe investment pays 2% interest. The investor wants to make a total of $700 in interest. Our variables are the amount invested in the high yield fund and the amount invested in the safe investment. Again, it's not obvious which of these is independent and which one is dependent. So we'll make that choice if we need it. But we want the interest from the high yield investment plus the interest from the safe investment to add up to $700. The interest from the high yield investment is 7% of H. Of course, converting that percent to a decimal before I do any arithmetic to it. The interest from the safe investment is 2% of S. Again, converting that percent to a decimal before I do anything to it. And there's my equation. In all three cases, then, we had something times one variable. We made sense of that. 
something times the other variable made sense of that, added the two expressions together to get some desired total.